Hello, this is Postdoc Chronicles week number uh, 47 and let's do this while I'm uh, having my snack. So actually today is a holiday in South Africa because I believe it's, it's election day today. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm eating my snacks. So Postdoc Chronicles week number 46 actually work, marks my one year here in South Africa. So I arrived here. May last year, May 2018, technically, if you calculate the entire duration that I've been here, it's not yet actually one year because I did have a Christmas vacation that's like around one month or so. So technically, I'm still 11 months here. But yeah, last year from today, I was already in uh, South Africa. And I remember when I, when I arrived here, it was really cold and yeah. It's beginning to uh, get cold again today, uh, around uh, May. So, like I said before, early of the year, December, January, February, March. That's like the summer here, but it's not. It's not really that hot, you know. The summer here is is not really um, all that hot, but yeah. So, uh, it's been one year, and what I what have I been doing last week? So, I was already finalizing the draft that we're gonna uh, submit on archive, hopefully uh, next week for my uh, first uh, particle physics paper. And yeah, it's really a, a marvel, you know, thinking about it. Um, last year, I know absolutely nothing on um, particle physics other than, you know, the usual basic stuff that a, any physicist with a PhD, you know, uh, ought to know, like, you know, the basic about what, what's the composition of the universe and stuff, what are the fundamental particles and so on, what are the fundamental interactions, but yeah. Since I arrived here, you know, I learned a lot. I, 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 I learned how to use the tools, the, the frameworks, and, the, and the, two, uh, the, the analysis tools that are needed to do at least some phenomenological study. And yeah, right now, like I said, we're finalizing the paper. I'm only waiting for uh, Deepak and Jong's uh, final comment on it. And if, it's, if, if they're good with it, then uh, we're uh, good to go, right? Yeah, but yeah, I can still remember like, one year uh, from today when I arrived here, we didn't actually uh, started, you know, work to work on some uh, postdoc problems. And that the reason is that Jung wanted to make sure that I had the enough background, I know enough language regarding uh, quantum field theory and high energy physics. And, I, and like I said before, the first thing that we, we, uh, we did my first month here, uh, May last year, so we did uh, a crash course on QED, QCD, weak interaction and stuff, and then some uh, basic uh, Monte Carlo, how, how the basic uh, MC tools that are needed in uh, generating events are used in high energy physics. And then from there, you know, we, we began formulating uh, uh, projects that we can do. And so right now we're already doing this. Uh, we have this uh, Stealth Susi project that we're going to upload um, next week. And then also uh, currently um, we had just, I just had a Skype with Jong. So we have, we'll be working on some other problems. So I have, I have a paper here that will be based on this one. So basically um, we're, we're doing a, uh, we're, we're updating these constraints on the so-called MUED uh, models, uh, uh, minimal universal extra dimension. So I'm reading like what are what's the status report for MUCD after run eight, and then I'm looking at the current constraints on MUED. And the idea is we're we're applying uh, this thing on. So there's there's like a subtle. Uh, complication when um, you when you deal with uh, compressed spectra and then you don't do matching in your uh, in your uh, events you just apply a pithia and then you don't you don't do matching there's a huge uncertainty that will be uh, introduced for high uh, PT uh, jets so we're going to investigate what effect it has it, it, it has been shown that for example in SUSI you can't make it as compressed as possible without doing the the matching thing so we would like to do that to uh, MUED minimal uh, universal extra dimensions and other than that mm, last week I was also running the fries here are really good but last week I was also running a uh, simulation on the dihigs, the background, so we already have the signal. We're simulating some backgrounds. Uh, this guy from Finland, Subhadip, we wrote four 
backgrounds that we would like to tackle and then we divided the task so it would generate the background for gauge bosons uh, plus uh, photons and then uh, WZ plus photons and then uh, backgrounds from the Higgs channel. I'm doing top pair with photons and also I'm doing uh, photons with uh, QCD jets, okay? And yeah, so if all goes well, then after this uh, one paper that we have here and then so we will be having one from the Die Higgs and then one from the MUED. We also have another one uh, regarding pile up. So we're also doing that. But yeah, so far it's really uh, it's really been uh, fun in uh, South Africa. So I, I since it's already uh, May 2019, so technically I have uh, one more year to go for my postdoc stint here in uh, University of Witwatersrand and. Um, uh, I'm also about to, so the moment we upload the draft uh, for this first paper that we have, I'm also sending a copy of the draft to OVCAA uh, in UP Diliman because after one year I should be able to, after, in fact it's like one year and a half, a year and a half, so the duration of the funding is one year but within a year and a half I need to send them a draft paper or if possible a published paper of um what we've been doing so far so yeah we have that hopefully we have that uh, uh draft that is coming um this monday and after that then we can focus on other projects so i think all the things i mentioned are only on jong's side i think Deepak will also be giving me some stuff that is related to atlas more on the um, experimental side, so we'll see what happens to that. And so with all these ongoing projects, I've really been busy, so I wasn't able to do some of the other stuff that I do in YouTube, so if you check my channel, I actually do some like math calculation and stuff, but I'm checking, you know, there are a lot other, most of my videos, you know, most people like this one, this is like, this is something that that's why I'm doing this. It's something that I would like to, you know, rewatch in the future, like to remind me I, what I've been doing at this specific week in time. So it's like I don't write any like diary and stuff. So this will serve as like my sort of um, digital diary during my stay here in South Africa. But yeah, some of the other videos that I'm doing is also on uh, solving some math problems. And I've, I'm looking at the number of views that I have now. It's like almost uh, 10,000. It's like 900. Uh, 9,600 uh, views in total and majority of those views do come from the math stuff that I'm doing in uh, YouTube. So when the when the number of views, views turns 100, in order to celebrate that, uh, probably, I'll probably be um, uploading some video on solving some stuff in order to um, celebrate that. But yeah, so... After this, so I'm, I'm taking my snacks after this, I'm gonna, I actually just, even though it's a holiday, I just came from school to get the new batch of simulation that I have for the background that we're dealing with in our draft because the one in there is 3 million. I tried increasing it further to see if some other regions of uh, the signal will be uh, populated. So I have it here and then I'll try to see if there's a major difference. There shouldn't be a very first preliminary check our signal is still higher than the uh, background, but yeah. So I think, uh, sorry about that. The, my, my camera stand actually got destroyed, so uh, I have to just prop up my phone on the side of the book, but yeah. Also, I want to add, um, last week, I also watched Avengers a second time. It's still very cool, man. So I, I watch it again because I always wanted, you know, to see it on the big screen on 3D and yeah. Watching it again, you know, after knowing what happens, there are a lot of uh, foreshadowing that, that are shown in the film. And I think, personally, it's really worth it watching it a second time. And, um, yeah. What else? Um, after doing my stuff here, I'm going to fold my laundry. And then tomorrow, back to um, with water run. So... Hopefully, um, again, like I said, uh, crossing my fingers, this paper uh, will come out on archive on Monday and then we also submit it already to some uh, 
journals. I don't know. It will be the choice of Jong or Deepak. So maybe we'll submit it in JHEP, Journal of High Energy Physics, maybe PRD or I don't know, PRB. We'll see. Okay, but this has been Postdoc Chronicles week number 47. My one year in uh, South Africa and looking forward for my year two, my second year in South Africa. So hopefully this second year I'll, I'm going to be able to cook more projects because the first year you know turned out to be sort of like a preliminary stage me prepping myself up making sure that i can do stuff in uh, high energy physics okay and so i'll see you next time for the next you know uh year my postdoc year to iteration of my uh let me pick up the fries just fell down but i think it's still clean year to iteration of my postdoc chronicles. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.